All right, that brings us to the last video of the course. And real quick, I wanna go over some of the key points that we've discussed and clarify a few things that you might be wondering. The first important point is that as an independent artist, you should not be utilizing a branding strategy approach to your marketing like the major record labels follow. A branding strategy is expensive, it's difficult to measure the effectiveness of it, and it takes a while to get results. Instead, you'll most likely see much better results by utilizing a direct response approach. This way you'll be able to get started with a very small budget, you'll quickly be able to see measurable results that will help you make adjustments as needed, and it's easy to see exactly how effective your campaigns are. But one important thing to realize is that a branding strategy is not the same as branding yourself as an artist. Branding yourself in terms of your sound, attitude, the way you dress, and what you stand for, and all that good stuff is something completely different. That type of branding is good. It's not something that we really got into in this course, but it's important that you realize the distinction between the two types of branding, between branding yourself as an artist and a branding strategy when it comes to your marketing. So branding yourself and your music is good, following an expensive and difficult to measure branding strategy is bad. Next important point, always get your fans email before you ever try to sell anything or promote your music on Spotify or Apple Music or promote your social media pages or anything like that. Why do we need to get our fans emails? Because that's the best way to build a relationship with them and ultimately warm them up to spending money with us on our music, merch, tickets to our shows, etc. So how do we get those email addresses? Well, for one thing, you could always have a sign-up sheet at all your shows. That's not something we really discuss in this course, but it's definitely something you should be doing. As far as getting new fans to join our mailing list online, the first thing we need is traffic. We didn't really discuss traffic generation too much in this course. Facebook is a great option, which we kind of touched on, but if you want to learn more about that, I'll share another resource that will help you with that in just a moment, but I don't want to get too off track, so let's just say for now that we know how to get traffic. What do we do with it? Well, we send those visitors to a landing page where we offer our music for free in exchange for them signing up to our email list. Next, we want to offer them something to buy, a full-length album download, and then maybe a box set as an upsell. Keep in mind that most people aren't actually going to buy anything from you yet. I know that in the last video, I showed you an example of what a campaign looks like that would cover the entire cost of advertising and allow you to scale indefinitely. Now let me just clarify something before you get too excited about how much money you're gonna be making. The purpose of that example is really just to give you an idea of what you should be working towards and why you want to get your initial sales funnel to pay back as much of your advertising costs as possible. The reality is that getting your initial sales funnel to pay for all of your advertising costs is a lot easier said than done. Especially when you're trying to sell something like a box set of all your music to someone that's just discovered you exist. The fact of the matter is, most people aren't actually going to buy your music until you've built a little bit of a relationship with them. That's why we get the email. Getting the email address is super important and it's really the key to making all this work, as I've stressed a number of times already. Once you have the email address, you can really start developing strong relationships with your fans and building these relationships is really how you get to the point where you're making a nice income as a musician. Now, you don't need a million fans to be successful. Think about this. If you have just 1,000 diehard fans that spend on average $100 each with you every year, and that $100 includes buying albums, merch, going to your shows, maybe paying for a VIP meet and greet where you hang out and have a few beers with some of your hardcore fans, signing autographs, whatever. If you can get 1,000 diehard fans to spend $100 with you every year, that's $100,000 a year, which is not too shabby for doing something you love. So how do we build these relationships and create diehard fans? Well, of course, we're going to put our fans on our email list, but once they're on our email list, we need to keep them engaged in a way that will help us really connect with them. So when we do offer them something to buy, they want what we have to offer. There are a lot of subtle nuances to making this happen without coming across like you're just constantly trying to sell shit to your fans. If you focus too much on selling and not enough on actually making that connection with your fans, you're just going to piss people off and you're going to lose your fans. So that brings us to your next steps. Now, as I said in the beginning, some of you may already have some experience with marketing and maybe you have some technical chops when it comes to setting up landing pages to collect emails and sell digital downloads. You may already be an expert on building an email list with Facebook ads. Everyone's going to be in a different boat here. If you do already have some decent online marketing chops, I really hope that something I touched on in this training resonated with you and gave you some new ideas on how to promote your music online. Now, if on the other hand, what I went over in this course makes a lot of sense to you, but you don't really know where to start when it comes to running Facebook ads, setting up an email autoresponder, creating a landing page, processing payments and delivering digital downloads to fans that bought your music, if you aren't really sure how to keep your email list engaged and build strong relationships with your fans that will help you sell more and make more money from your career as a musician, don't worry. You can click the button below this video or open a new tab in your web browser and type in www.jammob.com next to get access to an incredible resource that will cover all of those things I just mentioned in great detail. 
It's literally everything you need to get set up with everything we talked about in this course and have a real working fan building machine that will rapidly grow your fan base and sell your music for you. So if you're serious about having a successful career as a musician and not having to rely on some job that you hate to pay your bills while you're wishing you could spend more time writing and performing your music for a crowd of diehard fans, take action now and click the button below. Once you're on the next page, be sure to watch the entire video until the very end as it's going to provide you with some extremely valuable insights that will completely change the way you think about your career as a musician. So go ahead and click the button below right now. You won't regret it. All right, so that's it for this course. I hope you really enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.